Hey man, y'all gotta look out for them women that if you got a girl that you talking to, you know what I'm saying, and she got her first apartment and she staying by herself, or she staying with another uh, another woman, she hoeing it up, bro. Or she gonna hold it up real soon. Cause she ain't never had no freedom like that before. You see, having a man in the building or, or that she's roommate with or whatever the case may be, that masculine presence, and he, a straight guy, that masculine presence kind of stops her from the full hope from coming out of her. But once she stands by herself, she by herself, dog. She can bring as many wood sticks over there as Y'all know what I mean by wood sticks. A man's wood stick. She can bring as many wood sticks over there as she want to, and nobody would know. If it's a woman that's roommate with her, they're not going to judge each other. You dig what I'm saying? More than likely. So she still can still bring out. They're going to have a hell of two mans. Two man this day. Two man that day. They probably start touching on each other and shit like that. So be careful. If you got a chick you talking to and you thinking about taking her serious, if you just, you know what I'm saying, y'all just kicking it, then y'all just kicking it. But if you think about taking her serious, man, and I ain't trying to make you paranoid, this not every woman, but most of them, when they get that freedom to blossom, to spread their whole wings, boy, they're going to soar, I'm telling you, until that thing in between they <clears throat> get sore. Like when a woman is staying with her dad, she not doing all that shit. It probably, it probably don't be not even one guy come over there during the whole duration of her staying with her dad. She stays with her brother. The brother ain't going for that. There's certain brothers that are, that's a little bit less judgmental, but ain't no brothers going for that shit. Like, brother gonna check your ass. Like, your ass need to chill out. You feel me? Once you done had too many, like, hold up. When you just got down, you know what I'm saying? A cousin shit like that, it, it, ain't, it ain't going down like that. Let her stay with a woman, though. It could be her motherfucking mama. Most mamas going to let they little girls, I mean, they all daughters do whatever. You did. It's the masculine presence that stopped that hope from exploding. You feel me? Once they by themselves, they get by themselves, man. They trying to explore as many dicks as they can. You did. Watch them uh, females that want to stay by themselves, man. Or they, they stand by themselves for the first time. Or they have a woman roommate. They horn it up, both of them. Both of them. What they average in a week, nigga. They average 10 a week together. 10 wood sticks a week. Five a piece. You know what I'm saying? And once their rent due, now one of them got a job. You know what they're going to do. And they ain't going to judge each other about this shit. It's your turn, though. It's your turn. It's your turn. Mr. Earl finna come over here. I'm girl, I'm finna milk this nigga and blah, 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 blah. Man, listen, man. <laughs> Just be careful, man. Somebody that ain't never had shit, you never know how they going to act when they get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, stand by themselves for the first time. So just be careful. You did. Am I saying you're not supposed to want a woman with her own shit? No. Want a woman with her own shit that done had shit before. That has sexual discipline. That's very hard to find, bro. It's extremely hard to find. So like I said, y'all just kicking it, then y'all just keep kicking it. You know what I'm saying? But you think about taking her serious, bro, you need to examine. You know what I'm saying? You need to observe a little more. That's all I'm saying. And be aware of certain shit. You feel me?